The TFR road network is 580 kilometers long. It is made up of the most strategic roads in London. They carry around 33% of London traffic, even though they only make up 5% of London roads. From the 1950s onwards, roads have been resurfaced in asphaltic materials. A normal asphalt consists of aggregates, bitumen, filler. They're added into the plant at high heat, mixed, put on the back of a lorry and transported to site and laid. The aggregate is very important because it gives us the safety requirements by allowing us to brake quicker, to stop quicker. So it's important to choose aggregates that are top quality for your surface courses. And by definition, because they're top quality, they cost a lot of money. And they have to be imported generally. High quality aggregates currently in London are coming from Northern Ireland, Wales and Norway. The most resurfacing that Transport for London has done in a year is 750,000 square meter. So if you think of a football pitch, 100 by 45, that's about 170 football pitches. When we actually remove an old road, we remove 100 mil all in one pass. That means that you've got top layer aggregates and bottom layer aggregates that are mixed. Some surfacings in London would last around 20 years. You're throwing away aggregate that still has life. So you've got good, very good stone that is sitting on the surface that then if it, if it gets recycled, if it's lucky enough to be recycled, it goes back in a base material. And that is a big waste because you are then using a high property aggregate into something that all it needs to do is provide structure and not surface properties. So the idea is that we need to think about reusing whatever we can. And we have come up with a partner that is also very interested in sustainability. And we have decided to give it a shot. The idea behind the trial was to actually use the, set, the actual top 40 millimetres of the surface course, which is the primary premium aggregate that's in there. The levels that we spoke about, which is 50%, this will be the first time it's been done in the UK. It introduces additional operation in the removal of the road. Because now, as I said, rather than taking up one whole layer and mix aggregates, we are trying to separate. So by definition, we would need to take one layer and then another layer. But it produces value because you are, can now segregate all the good quality aggregate and produce an asphalt. The recycle is replacing both the bitumen and the aggregate. And it, we've used 50%, that means 50% of the virgin mixes, partially bitumen and aggregate are replaced by the recycled material. That's added again in the top dryer. It's put in a very high addition, preheated, which allows it to be used. The actual area that was this, there's actually decided in the end was the A1 at Mill Hill. It's a three, three lane section of an existing SMA type of surface course and we set out to replicate what's there in terms of the material look and assess its durability over the long term. So the idea was to put it like for like against the material with no recycling in there at all and assess it over the next six months, 12 months, 24 months. Looking at it and having a feel for it, and I think the strategy that we followed with the material production and the checks, etc., etc., have shown us that, yeah, this is doable. And it's not just fiction anymore, it's reality. And this, this is why the FM Conway have invested heavily within recycling, because we feel that there is an asset out there that is underutilised around about 2 billion tonnes within the UK possibly could be used and our aim is to try and use that product in new road surfaces. Well the benefits are, are twofold, TFL reuse air asset and there are environmental benefits by removing long freight runs of aggregates, bitumens etc from far and wide. Um, we've actually got that material so our quarry exists on the roads of London where we bring the material back into FM Conway, short distances, process it and send it back basically where it came from. 
We need to seriously start thinking about what our children are going to have in the future. The more we dig, the less of it there will be. And in, at some point in the future, there will be none left. Um, so if we don't start looking after it today, then we won't have anything to look after us in the future. So I think the potential benefits of this trial are industry changing.